God bless you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Recently, my best friend, Christian, sent a testimony to you guys and it encouraged me to do the same. I really hope that this is a blessing to you, and I pray that it will encourage others to stay on this pilgrim pathway. I've been born and raised inside a message-believing home. Playing the tapes has always been the priority. It's been my life foundation. I never once turned back on the word, and I've always believed it to be, thus saith the Lord. But it didn't make me immune from failure. When I was 13, I began to realize that I needed something more than the life I was living. So, during a family meeting, I got down on my knees and gave my heart to the Lord. I can honestly say with all my heart, from that night on, I've known that I was a son of God. Nothing can take that away from me. I saw my name on the Lamb's Book of Life. As time passed, I had my ups and I had my downs, but it always seemed to me that my life was more down than it was up. Over time, I let things of the world slowly drift into my life. TV shows, social media, and stuff like YouTube controlled my life. I would often put these things before prayer and would always feel so condemned for doing so. It wasn't until I heard the preliminary from the Branham Tabernacle when Brother Joseph talked about our idols that I realized what I was doing. I was putting the world before God. With shame, I admit that I was worshiping multiple idols. However, I made a clean cut. I got out the sword of the word and chopped down the distractions of the world. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I've never been so happy in all my life. There's been a change like I've never experienced before. I went straight to my phone and deleted every single app I had except the message. Now. Instead of Facebook, I have the Bible open by my side. Instead of spending time trying to keep up with the latest episodes of 10 different shows, I'm spending time in prayer and meditation on Him. Where I once bypassed extra time by watching YouTube, I now replace with Brother Branham, listening to more tapes than ever before. It was hard, but it was worth it. Because even as I say this, I can feel the presence of the Lord with me. Hours in prayer, listening to tapes, and reading chapter after chapter of the Bible is all I've been doing. Not just every day, but every moment of the day. Sure, the devil tempts me every day, and has given me a rough time about it, but he's defeated. I pray this testimony encourages Christians like me to continue the fight. We're almost home. The finish line is in sight. Praise God.